I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. I was uh, raised, you know, I was raised in the Ninth Ward. Uh, also, uh, wow. the Lower Nine and the East, what we call it, East New Orleans, uh, in the neighborhood Skyview. Yeah. Uh, that was the name of my hood, and I uh, got it tatted on me from here to here. So, it's just one of those things, man. I come up in a hood where you know we saw a lot of, a lot of, you know, I saw a lot of killing, a lot of murder, a lot of crime, a lot of, um, and I was involved in some things, you know, that uh, altered my uh, the direction that I was going in, kind of yeah. like caused me to go in a different direction that I was supposed to be going in. Right. And uh, you know, I got into a lot of lot of trouble, you know, growing up fighting, selling drugs, my mother kicking me out for drugs, finding drugs under my bed and you know, uh getting put out of two schools in the same year. Uh, you know, and a lot of my friends were dying, you know, a lot of the friends that I grew up with, mm -hmm. you know, they were dying. So when did that turning point come about? The turning point came when uh, I believe the turning point actually started when I was 18 years old, I believe, and I fell into, I don't know, I was just wilding out, and um, I was what they call speedballing. I was snorting cocaine and snorting heroin at the same time. I started snorting cocaine when I was 16, um, but at, I was 18 at this time, and so I, I od you know, and um, after I came out of that, the Lord, you know, allowed me to survive through that. Um, I... Uh, I went to college, wow. you know what I'm saying? And I was still so young. I had been through so much at a young age, but I, I was still young. Right. You know, I didn't feel like it. So I had an opportunity to go to college. And so for me, a lot of people, you know, um, for me, I know that a lot of people go to school for education. Right. But for me, it was it was actually different. I went to school just to get away from the city. And so um, the turning point came when I actually had to move back to New Orleans after being in college for a year, a, sem a couple semesters, mm -hmm. and I came home and I just wanted, I just wanted to know God, you know, because I had remembered mm -hmm. from my upbringing uh, as as a, as a sibling, as a child, as an adolescent, I remember, you know, the tent revivals. My mother, I was no stranger to God or to who Jesus was. My right. mother and my father, as a child, instilled in me, you know, um, who my savior was. Right. It was just that when I became a teenager, I was straight away from that, you know, or a young teenager. And uh, came home and I just wanted to, I just wanted to change. I felt I needed to change. I right. was empty inside. I was longing for uh, some, some kind of fulfillment in life. And I knew I had a purpose.